Hi folks, it's John from LastChanceAutoRestore.com. I'd like to share with you another update. This is the 1970 Buick GS big block car. In an earlier video, we were sharing with you where we had the bracing in and we were doing the, uh, the new floor. We were getting ready to put the new floor in and there was a lot of patches that we had to do. And it was over in another area on axle stands. So we made a lot of progress since then. We now have it on the hoist and we've done the rest of the floor repairs and all of the patching and then uh, once we share with you the inside of what it looks like then we'll raise the hoist up and we'll look uh, underneath so uh, if you recall if you didn't see the other video um, you always have to brace the car so it doesn't shift especially when you're taking out flooring or tunnels uh, because you have to keep the car square so uh, we had other reinforcements in the back that we've since removed because there's no need for it. And then once we get the car, uh, the body back on the chassis, then we'll remove uh, these pieces of tubing. So in the earlier video, um, we had the floor just kind of ready to go in, but we were redoing all of the rear parcel shelf and that uh, underneath the back seat and the, the rear wheel well areas. So now, hopefully it's not too dark, you can see with the new floor in, they're always a little bit short on the back wheel wells. Um, so we've got new pieces that we've made for there and welded them all in. And then you can see all along, when you go down this driver's side that I'm on, uh, you can see the whole floor is in. And then at the very front there at the foot, uh, we had to make those pieces. And you can see, hopefully it'll come out okay. So um, it's, it's typical that they rust out here and up in that side over by the parking brake. So that's all been, uh, the, the rotted stuff has been cut out and then we made new pieces. You can see, hopefully they'll come up in the camera. You can even see the grooves match. So we did the same grooves um, as the factory floor. And then as you go across the tunnel over towards the passenger side, we got a little bit of that um, wire harness kind of in the way a little bit. But when you go to the footwell on the passenger side, same thing in that corner. You can see there was some holes so we cut out the stuff and, and put new metal in and then welded all the way across with that seam. We still have some uh, sheet metal screws in here. We'll remove those and fill those holes in and you go down the whole passenger side. You can see the big braces. These are really important. Um, so that we, the brace is in exactly the same position it was in before, both the passenger side as you can take a look at it, and then over here on the driver's side. So um, we wanted to make sure that we had it in the exact location they were in before. And then it's uh, got lots of factories, uh, same position as the factory did for welding. So we've got lots of reinforcement and strength. Um, so this is the inside of the floor. So what we'll do is we'll just take a break for a second. Um, we're going to lift this car up um, on the hoist, and then we'll take a look at underneath. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back with the, with the 70 Buick. So now we have it up uh, high, obviously, on the hoist. So let's take a look at underneath. So the lower portion of the firewall, what a lot of people have nicknamed the belt line, there's this seam where they overlap, where the firewall and the flooring overlap. Um, and they're notorious for rusting there. So that's one of the, um, the numerous places. So we've got, obviously, this, the black is the new floor pan with the ribs. And then you can see these are all the extra pieces that we had to make and weld in. Um, so what we'll do is we're going to pretty these up later. So we, we ground the biggest parts of the welds off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to treat this with a two-part block epoxy to seal all the bare metal. And then once that's cured, we'll put some seam sealer on these edges just to kind of smooth everything out. And then we have a commercial grade rocker guard um, type of undercoating, a light texture that we'll spray just to complete it before we set it on the chassis. So without boring you too much, this front cowl area, you can see there's quite a bit of work that's been done. So basically, um, you know, anywhere where it was kind of questionable in terms of strength, you can see, as I mentioned earlier, we, we still have some screws that we're gonna pull out um, from inside and fill those in. But you can see as you come down, this is the driver's side where the floor and the rocker panel meet. And you can see how nice uh, these pieces fit. It's very tricky to get the floor in the proper groove and layered the way it should go, but we, it, uh, the guys did a really nice job setting it all up and getting it in place. And then we've got them all welded in. And then you can see back here uh, where there was nothing at all, we made some pieces 
uh, to fit in there. Um, and then we come across, we've got some new metal in the flare. And then we get to the back. So this is basically the, the back of the back seat. And then this is what a lot of people will call the parcel shelf. The back window is kind of there. And then obviously this is our trunk. So you can see all of the pieces that we had to cut out and make new ones for. Um, and we even made the ribs. You can see there's, there's an indentation groove here. Hopefully that shows up in the camera. And then we've got one that's embossed or raised. And then same thing over here. So what we do is we follow all the body lines. Some of them are a little tricky and it's heavier metal. So we want to make sure that it's uh, nice and strong. So we've got that placed in. And then same thing here. You've got an indentation and a rib. And then back here you've got the extension. Um, so you, you'll notice back here is still pretty nasty. You're the, the back of the quarter panel and the uh, fender well. Those parts are coming there on back order. But we were able to do the floor repair the trunk repair and then our trunk reinforcement pieces uh, that come up and extend through. In an earlier video we shared with you when we set the trunk in and then it's got the double wall back here which is notorious on those and they rot out and you can't buy those. So um, on the inside of the trunk we've got all new metal uh, in there and then it'll need some love obviously in here where you've got the peekaboos but they're coming when we do the quarter panels. So now we've got the nice factory trunk and the factory floor with all the ribs and then to complete this we'll just come down the passenger side very similar to the driver's side where there was anything questionable we cut it out welded in a new piece and you can see we have our support rails coming across all the way down the inner rocker and they're in the exact locations they need to be and then you can see where we've got this uh, this front section all tied in there's a little hole that was uh, in the passenger front floor. We cut that out and welded a new piece in there. So now that we have all of that steel fabrication done on the main body with the exception of the quarter panels and the inner tubs, um, we're going to now treat this neck. So the next um, thing we're going to do, like I mentioned earlier, we'll apply a two-part black epoxy. That's going to bond and seal all of this bare metal. Um, and then once that cures, we'll do a rocker guard and then it will be ready to place on the frame. So what we'll do is once we have it set back down, we'll probably shoot a video just showing you the texture once it's done. We won't bore you with what it looks like with just the black two-part epoxy on. But then once we have the textured uh, rocker guard, we'll probably show you what that looks like before we set it on the frame. So this is the 1970 Buick GS big block car. And I thank you for watching. I'm John from Last Chance, autorestore.com.